Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Fantastic Four movie thoughts. Starting off real classy, when Dr. Franklin is dying, you know, I think that it's Johnny who, like, runs up and says, you know, forgive me. If anything, he should ask for your forgiveness because if he hadn't made you be an engineer on the whole teleporting thing, you wouldn't be able to fly and be on fire. Okay, fair enough. Point to, yeah. But if it, rather... It should be Sue asking for forgiveness because she was the one who got them Reed back, and Reed was the one who got it. Yeah, to to, which is then what gets Victor back and gets Franklin killed. So yeah, I I do quite like that they also had him kill you know the leader Tim Blake Nelson. I think is the actor's name. I really do hope that he shows up as more, you know, scientist types in, in superhero films because I, I do rather like him in them. Now, the, the very end kind of doesn't really explain what, what about the, the various what about the, the portal technology to the, not to be confused with, you know, Aperture Science's portal technology, but the dimensional portal, is that now just property of the Fantastic Four? Because Ben Grimm looked kind of scary to them. I mean, I, I get the, you know, there's that nice little joke, oh, you don't want to mess with him because he'll beat you up. They were using him as, you know, a, a, a weapon. I'm sure they have ways to, you know, slow him down or, you know, and yeah, you know, or they could do it, you know, without anyone really knowing. I mean, are they gonna, if, if they send more people in there, even if they're very careful, they might end up with more Dr. Dooms, you know, so yeah, and I mean, there, there doesn't really appear to be anyone else in there, you know, we, we didn't see any other life forms in the, you know, that dimension, only the, you know, the, the energy and the various, yeah, I, I did quite like that little, you know, hint. There's something different about the, the, the area. What's different? No, 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 it's just changed. Now, It's not that this movie isn't, it's not that it isn't funny, but it really is very heavy as well. Now, I think it's really fitting that this, as many movies now do, ends with the title, you know, with the Fantastic Four. You know, cute little, you know, name-picking scene for the for the group. I really like the bit with, you know, re, you know, how about the genius and his neurons? How about the genius and her neurons? That was a nice little, yeah. And the, you know, and that's where we get the one thing, you know, that's, you know, Johnny calls him the thing, but, and, and we also get the only, you know, Johnny pokes at the thing and the thing has to be talked down from beating him up bit, but yeah. Anyway, it's fitting that the title only comes there at the end because there was hardly any Fantastic Four in this. The characters are there and they do eventually become the mem you know they they 
eventually do take on these mantles. They they get the powers and start using them, but there's very little of that. And you know, I I get it's it's this is one of the most origin e origin stories that I've seen in a long time. I I kind of. Th I kind of thought we were done with this. I thought that we were into the the bit where you know you still get plenty of fun with. I mean, the first Thor movie, he gets like dethroned in you know I don't know the first twenty minutes or something, first half hour at least. We still get to see him be Thor and really kick ass. You know the the first. Captain America movie takes forever to get him past the, you know, the the propaganda bit, which was intensely clever, but still, and we still got a ton of of that stuff. But then in this one, it's, I mean, this is this is like Iron Man. If Iron Man was only the Mark III suit or something, this, you know. Yeah, it just it takes them forever to get the powers and to be then using them and it's a great film but everyone wants to see that. That's why we came to the theater and you're not really giving it to it. I when when there was that thing of you know them skipping ahead a year, I was like, "Okay, great. So now they're like now it's it's working or something only yeah, only after that do they finally get and and Johnny is like, oh, I bet I can get it to five seconds. Has he literally been doing nothing but that? Okay, maybe maybe not nothing else, but is that all they're having? You know, is he doing that same thing over and over? Because it's like, I mean, I'm hardly a gamer, not not by any stretch of the imagination, but. Everyone who plays video games hates the tutorial level. It's it's like it's the you hope it's good and you maybe even maybe it would be even better if you can just skip it. But nobody wants to keep playing the same thing. I, I don't know. I guess it's like the racing thing. Maybe he's a maybe he's a racer gamer. That's you know, and he just keeps playing the same race, over, which would fit with the whole. Never mind. That would yeah. We saw him start in a race. The, the whole thing with the, the car was pretty funny, you know, it falls apart and then, you know, first it just stops and, you know, and then we get the thing, of, you know, the biggest badass is the one who starts, you know, starts out way in back and then still gets ahead, you know, and then, his, you know, the car falls apart there at the end, that was pretty good. Now... Nice. that. Now, I, the part, part of Ben is that, you know, he doesn't they're, they're trying to have this thing where he doesn't talk much and then, you know, once he, excuse me, once he becomes the thing, excuse me, he's, you know, even more distant or, you know, that's when he's really distant. You know, in the comics, especially outside of the Ultimate, you know, it's, yeah, he's, he's just, he's a, pretty content guy, you know, not necessarily the, you know, yeah, think things work out fine, and in this, we never really see that, and frankly, he talks way more after he becomes the thing, and that's in spite of the fact that he's, once he becomes the thing, the movie is mostly over, you know, there's maybe half an hour after them getting their powers or something, Maybe 45 minutes. I, I don't look at my clock when I'm watching movies, especially at the theater. Yeah. 
anyway, if there wasn't that much time left, but yet he still, he said far more, and that kind of, it, it undid some of that, and that's really unfortunate. Now, I do think the, the way they handled the, the powers, the, them getting the powers, all five of them getting the powers, and, you know, the way the, you know, what was it called? Zero, Planet Zero, I think. You know, how that worked with how, you know, you had all this energy surging through, and, you know, they followed it to the the core and then victor fell in to the you know so he's and and then when you see him like you know the moment i saw the the energy on on the ground i was like oh yeah that's actually that's exactly what his face looks like in what we you know publicity stuff we've seen so yeah he's he's gonna fall on that and that's gonna be you know and then you know johnny it kind of explodes flames engulf him, you know, and Ben becomes, like, buried in rock, and Reed, you know, he's, he, yeah, I, I can't quite put words to, but it, it makes sense, I feel like, and, you know, Sue also, you know, hit with the thing, and, yeah, that was, that was very nicely done, and then, you know, when they get Victor back, it's been a year, and he's been living in the, you know, on Planet Zero, and he is full of energy, because he has absorbed all of that that we saw, and that's why he's way stronger than they are, which he should be, and, yeah, it's, you know, and, and then you have that thing, you know, which you also hear in the trailer, he's stronger than any of us, you know, yeah, he's stronger than any of us, but not all of us. And then, you know, they work together. And it was a pretty good plan as well. You know, it made a lot of sense. And, yeah, they, they kind of, they used what he had, you know. Yeah, the you know, he built the, the thing, again, using, you know, showing that it couldn't just have been, you know, just any... He also did some really badass kills as we're going through the base, but but yeah, it couldn't have just been anyone with all that power. He had to also be Victor, incredibly smart, because he built that you know thing that created the the black hole thing, and I do think that was that was a nice cute thing with you know because the first time we hear we're told that it can cause a black hole, you know. Reed almost did that, and then he, uh, well, I'm glad that didn't happen, and then for a while, we don't really think about, and then there at the end, Victor creates the, and, and then, you know, he also said, you know, you almost created a black hole with this, and then, you know, and then Victor creates a black hole there at the end, and yeah, that was, that was quite nicely done, and then, you know, we of course have this, you know, for, for a little bit, I thought he was starting to Dr. Manhattan on there, but, yeah. And and he starts, you know, he's pulling all of Earth into the, you know, this black hole, into planet zero. And it's this thing of... You, you know through that, them defeating him is in part saving the world and stopping, you know, it's it's this thing of, we, it's a superhero movie. The the good guy should be saving someone, something, you know, so, and yeah, why not the whole world? That would be a good thing. And they're also stopping the bad guy, and the bad guy in this case, you know, so we have him threatening some, you know, so he's not just, you know, it's not just the the bad guy being kind of you know and and that's the case in some of these movies where the bad guy is just there so he can fight the good guy he doesn't really have a plan and the thing with this one is of course that the plan is kind of contrived that he's okay so he gets taken back to earth 
you know, he, he lets himself be taken back to Earth. And then, you know, and, and we heard his spiel against the government earlier. And then when Tim Blake Nelson mentions the government, he's like, uh oh, you know, and, and so are we. We know that this is when he, you know, and then he shows that he could have walked away the whole time. And then he's like, if this world must be destroyed so that I can live by myself in my world, so be it. And then, you know, and that is the spoken like a man who genuinely, I mean, when he wasn't working on the dimensional portal because of the government involvement, something like that, he completely detached himself from the world, you know. Yeah, someone like that would be complete, you know, not not care at all. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to demonize, like, you know, people who, you know, who don't get out much. But, yeah, if, if it's to that extent, you know, then, yeah, maybe. And... Yeah, it's it's just I get why he would try to kill the four. That makes sense because they're the ones in addition to him who can actually build this thing and control it. Make it would make sense if he just specifically went after them, but then again, it's just suddenly, oh well, I guess you're just stopping the guy who's trying to kill you. It's not so much heroic, you know. And it would also, like, if he just tried to destroy the thing and, you know, destroy the, you know, destroy the machine, destroy the, the records. I mean, he, what was it? He torched the, the servers when he left, some, something like that, you know. So, yeah, it's just, it's a little forced. And then, yeah, you know, we have a bad guy for all of five minutes. This is Iron Man. And, yeah, it's it's a good fight, at least. And I do like that they do establish that he can defeat any of them and how he defeats them. I, I really like... This movie spends very little time explaining powers, much more showing them and giving you a sense of where the limitations are. You know, we see a few scenes of them just working with the powers... And we really get a sense, you know, this is how far they can go. And and it also shows them, shows us that they're learning to use them. So, yeah. Now. And it's also, you know, there are, maybe, maybe I already mentioned, there, there's no, there are no superheroics outside of, them stopping doom and you know it's it's rare to see them use their powers it's only really in this fight and then you know these you know and and a few times they fight each other but that's that's pretty much it and it's just yeah you know again we that's why we paid for the ticket we wanted to see them use their powers and the the trailers promise to promise that you know we we see a lot of really cool stuff with the powers in the trailers but then we don't you know i mean this does this did the ant-man thing the, you know there are clips in the trailer that look like a really cool action scene maybe more than one scene and then in the film, it's just used in a montage. So, you know, someone is showing someone else, see, he's really good at fighting. And it's just, I, I would really like, I think there should be a backlash against that. It's, it's, it's BS and it's, yeah, I, I, I would love to see producers scared to put scenes like that in in movies because it's just yeah or if if you're going to put a scene that's just summing up something someone did in an action scene then don't put the clips from that action scene in the trailer because 
yeah, we think that, you know, at least when you when you watch the trailer for Age of Ultron that has Captain America's broken shield, we know that that's not actually going to happen. It's just the imagery. We're, we're seeing something that is obviously from a dream sequence, and the movie is just telling us dream sequences in this movie are going to mess people up. This is This is dark, you know. And in this, we have, you know, oh, can, you know, I bet you can't wait to see, you know, the thing smashing tanks. And this, and we just see, you know, oh, yeah, well, see, that's what he can do. And that's it. And just, yeah. I like how Tim Blake Nelson's being, you know, a real jerk is in part established by his continued chewing of not apples, but gum. See, that's the, the other, you know, if not apples, gum. And I quite like when, you know, when Sue or Susan and Victor meet back, you know, and and Reed is, is there, is like, oh, hello, Susan. Oh, Susan, do you prefer Susan? No. <laughs> That's pretty good. There's there's this real sense of the two of them clearly had something, and that's not something that he's gonna get involved in. There's you know don't don't use that same name. You know that's not a you and me thing. That's a him and I thing. Kind of yeah. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.